guys. Uh, my name is John Jacob Jinkleheimer Schmidt. His name is my name too. Um, welcome. Sam Hain. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, gay people. I watched, um, sorry, I wrote down the two movies in particular that I'm going to reference um, very recently um, that are, the focus is uh, uh, gay men and their relationships, and there's more aspects to it per video. One was uh, I Love You, Philip Morris with Jim Carrey, and uh, I forget the supporting actor that was the guy that he was in love with, Philip Morris, I forget. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then there was another movie, uh, Any Day Now. Both really good movies. Both I highly recommend. Uh, I normally don't watch movies like that that are outside of my wheelhouse of horror because that's primarily what I enjoy watching. But um, I'm not opposed to watching stuff like that. Um, and with, you know, Pride currently going or coming up, or currently going, I think, um, Yes, yeah, Pride Month. Um, I felt that this would be a fitting topic to address. Not only that, um, the movies themselves, both of them, definitely fueled a, a desire to want to talk about it uh, from my standpoint of being a, a heterosexual, straight, which is heterosexual if you didn't know, um, man. Uh, but having plenty of friends who identify as gay, trans, uh, gender fluid, what have you. Um, and then also knowing several people who are in uh, same-sex relationships, marriages, and whatnot. Um, after I finished watching uh, the movie Any Day Now, I was discussing with my manager and uh, Sky, I voiced the comment, something to the effect of, why is it, even though I knew the answer, it just, I, I had to say it out loud, I said something to the effect of, why is it that uh, straight people as a whole, or just society, better yet, um, have such a hard time separating the fact that these two people, whether it's a guy and a girl, or a, a trans man, a trans woman, or two women, I don't care. Why is it that society as a whole has such a hard time not focusing on the fact that these people aren't the norm and that they have sex. They can't get over that hurdle. And I, I don't know if maybe it was the way I was raised or my perception on people and life and society. I, I don't know what to attribute it to, but I just, I understand their thought process. I don't sympathize with it and uh, I don't condone it and I'm not supportive of it. But I mean, I, I get their train of thought to a point but like just because it's not the norm you're gonna deliberately bar somebody from all of the aspects privileges that a straight couple a normal couple has because it bothers you that much like deep deep down to your core it bothers you that much and then uh, I I'm just gonna play devil's advocate here and go out on a limb and assume the response would usually be, oh, well, it's not that it bothers me, it's just it's not natural, it's not what Jesus intended, or it's not superimpose whatever uh, reasoning or um, justification you want. Um, I'm not going to go into the uh, religious aspect or any of the others. Um, I'm just going to seek to try and throw them out the window and undermine them in one fell swoop if I'm able to. Um, I will put it like this, all human beings, regardless of uh, location, um, heritage, um, religion, personal upbringing, morals, regardless of all of that, at the end of the day, and I challenge anybody to say otherwise, What is it that every single one of us, regardless of sex even, what is it that every single one of us 
wants out of life as a whole, definitively, to be happy. Simply put, to be happy. The pursuit of happiness is, I, I feel, what human beings as a species strive for. So if being with another man makes a man happy, or being with a man that was born a man, but now identifies as a woman and, and dresses accordingly and is on their way to pursue uh, gender reassignment, makes them happy. Why is that not okay with you? Why is that an issue? Why are you gonna go out of your way every chance you can to prevent that? That's what I have a hard time wrestling with because I'm not gay, I never have been. I have plenty of friends who are or trans and to listen to them um, share with me uh, the struggles or uh, I guess mental um, hurdles that they have had to go through in their lives or deal with. Um, it's, it's staggering that people are able to um, overcome that sort of thing. I have uh, a trans friend that goes by the name of Jay in Ohio. Um, I used to work with him at a sex shop and I specifically recall an interaction me and Jay had while we were restocking uh, you know, porn DVDs um, on the shelves and uh, he was just looking at him and uh, he looked over at me and basically asked me um, dude do you know what it's like to like watch porn and, and, and masturbate and then want to kill yourself afterwards and I was just floored by that question and I mean my response was is that <clears throat> excuse me I mean not that he would be lying but um, is that genuinely how you feel afterwards? And he responded with, yeah, because I was, I was born a girl, but I identify as a guy, and I, I haven't had gender reassignment surgery, so I, I still want to experience sexual pleasure. I mean, that's a human you know, uh, quality or desire, so I, I still have to you know, masturbate having a vagina which is a reaffirmation of a gender that I, I'm forced to deal with, but I don't identify with. And I just like stood there for, I don't know, a good amount of time. I was just processing that. Something that most of us as heterosexual people who identify as we were born and we just go about life normally or what have you, um, can't ever fathom like doing something as, as normal as masturbation which I consider normal. I'm sorry if you don't. If you don't, then you just click off this video right now. Um, and wanting to like kill yourself afterwards. Something that, that should be enjoyable and, and pleasurable and give you, you know, endorphins and, you know, dopamine and serotonin, all the good chemicals that naturally occur in your body, which are a result of having sex and physical pleasure enjoying all that and then in the same moment having a complete breakdown of, of who you are and wrestling with that and wanting to take it to a point of removing yourself from the face of the planet by suicide that's that's huge and these people not only live with hurdles like that but overcome them and continue to live in a society where not only do they have their own personal demons that they're wrestling with but all of the societal demons and judgments that are placed on them or projected onto them and still continue to fight for what they want, which is to be happy. That's a lot, if you ask me. So my last final piece, I guess, on the topic is I fully support anybody that wants to be happy. I, I don't care what you identify as. I, I don't care if you want to fuck men, women, both. Um, 
I, I don't care if you want to fuck a, a dude that identifies as a, a girl on Tuesday and Wednesday and, and a guy on Friday and Saturday and decides to dress up as a pirate and hop around on a pogo stick that has a dildo affixed to the top. I don't give a shit. If that makes you happy, by all means, do your thing. But to the people out there that deliberately try and prevent that from happening, I don't like you at all. You have zero support from me wholeheartedly. If you are abhorrently, or not abhorrently, vehemently against gay marriage, I mean you have nothing in common. Because at my core, I encourage people to be happy doing what it is that makes them happy. As long as they're not preventing someone else's happiness or hurting somebody, why not? What, what do you personally have to lose from them enjoying themselves? And again, all human beings inherently want to be happy. So you should let them pursue that. If they fail in their endeavor, that's on them. But they should be allowed to pursue. You shouldn't bar them from just that, that simple human, human, human journey because a lot of us get to enjoy it. It's not all enjoyable, obviously. There's bad parts, but that's with anything. So that's my piece on that. I do encourage you guys to watch those movies. I did thoroughly enjoy both of them, and it's, uh, it's interesting to look at it from that perspective. I mean, yes, it's, it's a Hollywood movie, and it, it may not be, you know, reality TV, but uh, it conveys the point very well. And uh, it definitely gives you the ability to sympathize with people that live that kind of life because that's what they enjoy. So that's all I got to say on it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave your comments below. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say on my view.